What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Michael Thursday. So let's go in here and see what he's got. You guys, come on. Well, she done got some trade-ins. Yeah, he wanted to go battery. Battery? Works on a lot of uh, river boats and stuff, mm. on and off the boats, and decided he wanted to go battery on them. Well, I guess that's good. Good for you, anyway. Yeah. Mm hmm. Y'all have a good Thanksgiving? I eat too much. I food coming for a while, I had to go get in the recliner. And, uh, I, know I hurt myself. But, it ain't hard to do, especially when you got a bunch of good homemade stuff. We had Thanksgiving at our place this year, so. That's always a good thing. We had a good time. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Looks like you got the shells over full again. Yeah, I'm going to reload it this weekend. Man. We're going to be all decorated up next week. Oh, y'all. Christmas in it up, mm -hmm. huh? Mm-hmm. Going to put lights on here? Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Sure enough. What new, new and exciting stuff y'all got this time? I don't have, I haven't got a whole lot new in. Uh, I got a bunch I got to get put on here. Still got a few of the pick deals left. Uh, the big pick sets that were in the flyer and a few of the magnetic bundle deals. I mean, if you're needing magnets. Oh yeah, that was a good know, deal on those. That's a good deal on that. Flexible magnet, the grabber too, so, mm -hmm. and the extendable magnet. What is these things down here? Clip pullers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Some interesting dudes right there. Mm-hmm. Got the 90s and the straights. And they some, they're beef, real beefy, too. I mean, yeah. you can tell that they got some... Some heft to them. Grab to them. And they don't close all the way. So, therefore, you can't mess them up by squeezing on mm -hmm. them too hard and messing them up. It's pretty cool right there. So, I like them big old fat cushion handles mm -hmm. too. They feel good. Well, still ain't heard nothing on the metric wrench deal when they're gonna do it. Looking like first of the year. Man. From everything I'm seeing. I hope y'all order a bunch of them because it seems like everybody and their brother's waiting on that one sale. What <laughs> happened to. I'm gonna say I have a. Uh, you probably got a list, don't you, of people waiting on them? I got a few. I think I ordered, though, 12 or 14 sets, so. They probably ain't gonna last long. And, uh, I'm gonna say I ordered a little less than that last year. And, I mean, they blew out. Yeah. That's a good deal on it. So. That's a pretty neat cooter rig. Yeah. On wheels. And that's part of the uh, the lock and carry stuff too. It all clips together and right. And uh, the handle tilts back with it, therefore the lid stay open. That right there'd be nice during football season. Mm -hmm. But this year, I ain't no tailgating, so screwed everything up. We Mississippi hadn't had that great a team to be watching anyway this year. So hey, Ole Miss won the Egg Bowl. That's the only well, game I of mean, the year that, that they did. They could lose every single game of the year. If they win the Egg Bowl, they've had a winning season. So I hope they give Lane Kiffin about a fifty thousand dollar bonus for that one game. <laughs> that way he'll make sure it happens again next year. 
They already just give them about two hundred thousand dollars. Like the coaches can, their salary should be contingent on the egg bowl. We'll pay you fifty grand a year to coach this team. If you win the egg bowl, you get two hundred thousand bonus. Yeah. <laughs> and then give them so much per game every time they win. Right. They push them boys to the limit then. Long as Ole Miss wins the Egg Bowl, that's that's all that matters. The rest of them's just ball games, something to watch on Saturday. I still got a couple of the. Oh yeah, those experts. The experts, sockets. the forty-eight piece experts, are still on sale. That was a good deal on them too. While they last. Good deal on them. You got any y'all's air hammers on here? I do. Everybody was bragging about how. Good, Short man. barrel, long barrel. Uh, long barrels. Right there's one. Yep. Everybody was bragging about how hard the Mac hits. I did that test with the Icon and versus the Snap-on. I remember that, man, you need to look at that Mac. I've had several other brands traded in to get, get one of ours, so. Uh, MPH 1911. Hmm. It's a good pistol style number, 1911, right? Yep. Say so it's supposed to be bad, huh? It comes with a quick connect, not a spring. Yeah, them springs suck. I think it feels good, don't it? Yeah, it uh, And another thing we got out now is the How many blows per minute is that one supposed to have? 2400. Okay. Anti-vibration technology it says. Another thing we they got out now too is, <coughs> I want to say these may come free with the hammer and one of the last yeah, flyers. I remember that. Oh, that is cool. It's to keep your chisels from spinning. Hmm. You know, that is something. Um, are they lifetime warranty on the Mac? I believe so. Because um, you know how when, when you go to hammer on something and then it just wants to roll with yep. you? These, you can put it in where you want it and it locks it in. Oh, I'll be darned. So it's... That's pretty cool right there. Mm -hmm. And you can turn it to the next if you need it to move. Or you just need to move a little bit, you can twist the head of it or you know, whatever you need to do. That's pretty nice. But. Yeah, air hammer bits is about as valuable as the air hammer itself. Because that one that I used during that test, it didn't even last 30 seconds, you know, and it was doing mushroomed out. Which I mean, you can grind them back down, but. Right. And a lot of times, you know, unless they're doing something special like this, I try to just order the uh, MPH 1911 K, which comes with a pack of chisels. Mm, okay. So it's by far the better buy. That's a good looking air hammer though. It does feel really good. Mm -hmm. But there were several guys talking about how they had the snap on, they had a Matco, and the Mac was a way harder hitting hammer than the rest of them. I have a lot of good feedback on them. I've had a lot of good feedback on them. I mean, even though it's a long barrel, it's still pretty balanced, you mm -hmm. know, so. Them long barrels just hit, man. That extra. You better be hanging on to that it. That extra little bit of stroke in there, it really makes a big difference. Is that one made in the USA too? Or, you know. I don't know off the top of my head. Forty uh, percent more average peak force per impact. Hmm, interesting. Two point six CFM. Mm-hmm. Good. F only five point four pounds, and that's without bit. Yeah, everybody's like, man, you should have got that Mac air hammer and put it in there with it. I'm like, Shh, I ain't buying a snap on a Mac and a Matco plus a <laughs> icon just to do a test on. They. Uh, but I had a Ingersoll ran. It was just, it was wore out. You know, it got to where it wouldn't, like, it would make your fingernail blue, but you'd have to hold it on there a second, you know. 
it was wore out so I was wanting to replace it with one and honestly didn't want to spend a ton of money to to do on a service truck right because man a service truck air hammer that's like the worst tool you never want to buy a used air hammer that come off a service truck because that joker has been abused big time <laughs> and used for anything <laughs> yep it has used been for abused. anything so. but it is what it is but i'm gonna tell you air hammer makes quick work of changing uh u joints out on a truck on the side of the road too you can get them out pretty pretty snappy with them there's a lot of really good uses for air hammer on a service truck like i say they get abused though because never get old right you know everybody drains their compressor every time you use a absolutely. service truck so absolutely got a bunch of new hats on yeah i've seen some of them i got some cool designs on those them girls be liking that pink and camo yeah that's pretty sharp that's a new one we're doing right now mm-hmm it's pretty cool I still like that one right there, the black with the gray bill on it. Mm-hmm. That's a good looking hat. It's hard to beat that. I don't guess I need any tools today. I ain't broke nothing or run into nothing crazy. I am going to get some more of these cracked peanuts. <laughs> they got to put something in them besides just sweet and spicy in a peanut because them things are very addictive Alrighty. them are good you got me on them but uh anyway guys that's gonna be our video today i got some lovely jobs coming in that i'm not looking forward to the one that should be pulling up any minute but like always thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up Merchandise over here, cool tools and discounts. Codes is in the description. If you're not subscribed, you just take your finger and you click that button, and that's it. Well, you guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.